everyone. Welcome back. My name is Noah. I'm with Dactronics, and today I'm going to discuss the media library within Venus Control Suite and take you through all the different options we have within the media library. So let's get started. All right. So if you log into your Venus Control Suite account, you can navigate to the media library by opening up the menu on the left and clicking on media. Now the media library is where all of your content will be stored. So you can think of it like a big hard drive, um, but you don't have to worry about losing your hard drive or anything on your computer because it's all stored in the cloud. So anything that you upload will be stored there. Anything that you create will be stored in the media library. And of course you can access that from any internet enabled device as long as you have your account login information. So when you come into the media library, uh, one of the first options you'll see here is the add new and if you click on that you're going to see our uploader screen now you can see the supported file types listed here PNG JPEG etc um, so if you're looking for what file types are supported in Venus control suite you can check that out there you can click and drag items onto the screen to upload them or you can click right here where it says uh, click here to upload and that's going to open up a folder on your computer and you can upload your files from there. Now if you have content that's already all ready to go on your display um, you can certainly just upload that here and then head right over to playlists to send that out to your display. Um, but you might just be uploading some images that you might bring into a different presentation to kind of create some content. So if you want to do that, that's an option as well. You can see we have kind of some Christmas content listed here. Christmas is coming up sooner than uh, sooner than later. So we got to kind of get ready, maybe get some Christmas content created for your display. If you're looking for that type of content uh, or those type of images that will look good on your display, um, definitely click the drop down arrow in your media library and come right down here to explore free content. That's going to take you to our content website. And if you check out my previous video on blog.dactronics.com, I did go through and show you how you can find uh, the content that size for your display there. So check that out and check out that website. Um, the Christmas items that you see listed here are part of uh, one of the graphic elements packages, so you can definitely go and uh, and download that and start creating some some nice Christmas content for your display. <clears throat> All right, the other options we have here under Add New are Upload Files. That's the same thing we just looked at. We have New Content Studio Presentation, and we have New Web Presentation. So if you want to create content from existing images or just by adding in some text, you can choose either of those options. We recommend using the new web presentation for most of your messages, but if you do want to check out Content Studio, you would need to download that onto a Windows-based computer. It is a free download. If you go to dactronics.com slash content studio, you can download that and check out the different editing options that you have available within Content Studio. All right, in our media library here, you can see we have some other buttons up top. This first one here is tag uh, and associate selected items. So if you wanted to tag your content to stay organized, you can do that uh, very easily here. If I scroll down and select a few of my Christmas items here, I can tag multiple items at once by clicking my tag icon here. And I already have my Christmas tag created, so I can just click that to add that tag to those items. If you want to uh, type in a new tag, you just type that in right here. I can click Save, and I've tagged those items. And tagging is just going to help you locate items later on. It's basically a category that you're giving them. So if I was looking for some Christmas images, I could click come over here and click Christmas. And you can see it's just going to filter in some of the stuff I have tagged with that word. All right, the next button here is Media Management. If your account is part of a hierarchy and you have uh, different accounts below you, this is going to allow you to share that content to those uh, child accounts. So you can check out that Media Management button there. If you want to remove any items or presentations or images from your media library, you're going to use the trash can icon here. You can simply uh, select 
something and you can click the trash can icon and that will delete it from your account. All right, the next option here is just choosing how you're viewing your media library. So you can see we have list view or card view. If I click card view, it's just a different way to show all of your content. So you can check that out. And then if I come over here to the right, you can see it's going to show me the total number of items I have in my media library. And this one I have 178. And then I can use my filters over here to locate the different content uh, within my library. So if I have a lot of items like I do there, um, I can come over here and I can sort them alphabetically. Um, I can sort them in a few different ways. I can come down here and select maybe what type of file, file type I'm looking for. Uh, if you have different dis size displays, you can click display dimensions and uh, select the size that you are looking for. And then of course you can use your tags, uh, which are right, right here. And again, if I was looking for um, you know, some backgrounds or Christmas images, then I could click that tag and that's going to just filter out the items that I have tagged with that word. So those are all of your options within your media library in Venus Control Suite. And once again, that's all stored in the cloud and accessible from wherever you can uh, log into your account. Uh, thanks for tuning in today. Check out the blog at blog.dactronics.com. And uh, we'll see you next time.